Pinocchio came home, you got the phone call, your child's here with you, they have head lice. What do we do? First, don't panic, I promise, it's going to be okay. Second, put your child in front of a nice movie or with their favorite video game, make them a bowl of popcorn, and most importantly, pour yourself a glass of wine because it's gonna be a long night. But we're gonna make it easy and we're gonna make it quicker than usual. What we need is our lice goodbye. Lice goodbye is an enzyme formula that has no chemicals and no pesticides in it whatsoever. It dissolves the glue that the nits and the eggs stick to the hair shaft with, so you can comb them right out. In addition to it, it dissolves the body of a live bug. I'm gonna show you how to use the lice goodbye with our terminator comb. Our lice goodbye comes with a plastic comb. You can use this as well. However, I like to upgrade to the, the metal comb. It really, um, the teeth are metal, so it just works a little better. But this works just as well. As you can see, the teeth are nice and close together. Okay, you ready, Ava? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so one of the first things you're gonna do is when you get the lice goodbye, is you're gonna cover your child's eyes. A washcloth, a paper towel, just something that they put over and hold right there. Perfect, good job, Ava. Second thing we're gonna do is clip up the sections of the hair. It just makes it easier for you to go through. So the lice goodbye is a mousse. You'll get about four to five uses out of each bottle, depending on the length of the child's hair. The beauty of the lice goodbye is it contains no pesticides or chemicals, so you can use it as many times as you feel comfortable until you know that there's no nits or eggs left in your child's hair. Just give it a little shake, and you're gonna coat the top of the child's head with four to five puffs of the mousse. I'm gonna show you what a puff looks like right here. So then we put the lice goodbye in the hair, and I'm just gonna demonstrate just a little on the side here. So we have the product in Ava's hair. Now, you wanna work this into the hair shaft. You wanna rub it in here, get nice and close. You're rubbing the product so the glue loosens up, okay? Let it sit for five minutes. Then what I like to do is add some of the rosemary cream conditioner because it's gonna help me comb through Ava's hair and Ava won't get so mad, right? Right. So we're gonna take a little of our cream conditioner. So we're gonna add this to the lice goodbye. Again, I just went right through with the comb. Now I'm gonna get my clip, I'm gonna leave it up here. I'm gonna get my comb, and we're gonna take little, little pieces down of Ava's hair that we combed through. Here we go. And again, we'll show you how to comb. We're gonna comb once down, and we're gonna wipe. I'm gonna take that same piece of hair, I'm gonna come underneath, and I'm gonna comb through, and I'm gonna wipe my comb. I'm gonna come from one side, get nice and close, because those nits are gonna be all the way up here. They are going to be, at most, a quarter of an inch from the top of the hair shaft. Those are the viable nits. Anything you see all the way down here is probably just an empty shell and will not hatch. So comb those out. Don't worry about those, they're dead, okay? They're empty. The ones that are viable, the ones that can hatch, are only the ones you're going to see as close to the part line as you possibly can. And after each comb through, we wipe off on the paper towel. If you're seeing live bugs, you want to get near some water, go like this through the comb and pull anything you see off the comb. Now I know it's a long process. You're going to take little sections of her hair and you're going to take it down and then you're going to put your comb back up and you're going to go through. You don't need to put all the lice goodbye anywhere from like here down. You can rub a little in just to loosen everything up, but the problems are at the top of the head. The, again, those are where the viable nits are. Focus your attention at the top of the head. Go through, do it again. You'll comb through the lice goodbye, you'll comb through. You'll put more lice goodbye in the hair. Again, comb through again. Let it sit for another five minutes and then rinse everything out in a steady stream of warm water. If you do think you see something else, Shake up your mousse and use it again. You can use this as many times as you need. We recommend doing two treatments in one day, two treatments the next day. And if you'd like and you have more left over, depending on the length of the child's hair, do it again the following day. The biggest thing I can tell you is keep combing. Keep combing and keep checking for two weeks. Again, we talked about the life cycle of a knit, which is about 10 days from being an egg to a nymph stage to a, a full-blown, full adult louse. So that cycle, you need to break. So the best way to do that, keep combing, keep nitpicking, 
and you should be good in a good two weeks. And then you can start using the Rosemary Repel hair care products to prevent lice from ever coming back.